Bloodhound SSC is constructed using a few key modules. This means that several parts can be worked on simultaneously and assembled later. The lower chassis is constructed much like an aircraft, using aluminium ribs and steel sheets. The machined aluminium rear subframe houses the suspension for the rear wheels and these two parts together house most of the rocket system. The driver and HTP tank both need to be very well protected, so they are contained in a super strong carbon fibre monocoque. When used in a Typhoon, the EJ200 jet is designed to be installed from underneath, and this is exactly how it will be in the upper chassis. The front subframe houses the suspension and steering for the front wheels. The rest of the car is then skinned using carbon fibre and titanium. They use steel plate on the underside to protect it from being worn through by the desert silt. Let's take a closer look at the rear lower chassis. Working on a large assembly fixture, which keeps everything true, the engineers glue and rivet machined aluminium pieces to steel sheets. So we, we lay the, the, the glue film on top, we put that panel on and we locate it with these devices, they're called skin pins. You put it through and it, it pulls that skin up to the back of it, we clamp it all the way with every hole and then we take skin pins out and replace them with rivets. They're quite a specialised rivet in this instance, they're from the aviation world. And this overall lower chassis, we're talking in the region of 4,000 rivets. The assembly is now placed in a huge autoclave, an oven which heats it to 80 degrees centigrade to cure the glue. Either the glue or the rivets could hold the car together on their own, but together they're fantastically strong. The completed lower chassis has now returned to our new building. It's been test fitted to the monocoque and work is well underway with the next large components the trellises and sills to which the upper chassis will be bolted.